Every morning, these women come and cook. They make food for students on this school campus. The stoves are kept going with firewood and charcoal, which is expensive. Traditional chefs like these women only make a small financial return. Plus, the daily smoke inhalation affects their health. The smoke gets into my eyes, it hurts my chest, and at night when I go home I can feel it on my skin like I am burning. This is where inventors like Michael Kome can help. He's been researching how to make stoves more efficient so that users can spend less money on fuel. He's also working on designs that create less smoke. The fundamental difference between these two stoves is that this one has a lining which is made of ceramics and this one doesn't. And what happens is this one can contain high temperatures without affecting the wall of the casing, while this one absorbs the temperature in the stove. So this one gives you roughly 35% efficiency as compared to this one. Green tech innovators like Michael Kome are set to get a boost. Ghana's first ever climate innovation centre has just opened. It's a green tech incubator and it provides business advice as well as startup capital to local green tech companies. It's estimated that in the long run, if 100 companies like that are supported, it could generate around 10,000 new jobs and help the environment too. Companies like Nicholas Manus could be set to benefit. His clean cook stove factory in Accra already employs 30 people. He wants to expand but needs more capital to do that. He's convinced of the positive benefit that his product can have, especially on the environment. It has 50% more uh, efficiency than traditional stove. And when you think in terms of how many tons of wood is used to produce charcoal, then of course uh, each stove in a year saves around four and a half tons of wood. Ghana's pledged to go greener. The government aims to help over 300,000 Ghanaians increase resilience to climate change in the next 10 years. But it's called on donor support to help manage the transition from fossil fuels to green and clean. Katerina Vitozzi, CCTV, Accra, Ghana.